provide example uh, and reach out to the other side. Congressman, while you've been talking, we've watched the doors open on the east front. Um, we've watched the speaker come out and the leadership. Um, the, 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 the most visual striking feature of the door is the window that remains broken. Um, and I'm going to guess that the architect of the Capitol had a chance to replace the glass and maybe just maybe it's a visible symbol, something of a talisman of the close call the Capitol and our democracy just went through. And to, to echo uh, the words of Eugene Robinson, the new president would not have mentioned democracy prevailing had there not been a question about that? Uh, you know, as usual, my, my old boy is correct. Uh, he, I think, called it just right. And I think all of us are aware uh, that this last several weeks, not just two weeks ago, but leading up to that, our democracy has been teetering on edge and waiting for somebody to step forth and nobody in power did to stop uh, what was going on and so we had uh, that um, insurrection or that attempt at insurrection but then uh, we have today uh, and two or three days ago Mitch McConnell I think said the right term uh, to him he said uh, the first at that school, who shared the backgrounds and experiences that he had grown up with, were able to relate to him and get out of him what was in him. And that put him on route uh, to become a PhD in physics and one of our great astronauts. That's what HBCUs are all about, getting people out of backgrounds uh, that may not be and with the majority of us grew up, uh, I happen to have uh, been married to a Gullah Geechee wedding uh, who came to the little town of Muscoe, South Carolina, and went on to become a master degree librarian. Uh, and so I've learned uh, from uh, her and others what HBCUs are all about. And I would hope that having an HBCU graduate now as vice president of these united states uh, having a member of apple kappa apple, 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 apple sorority uh, a vice president of these united states the first woman of color first woman i think it's a testament to what hbcus are all about and not to mention uh, the having number three democrat in the house an HBCU graduate. There you go, and thank you for wearing the colors today. Always a pleasure. God bless. Thank you very much, Congressman, for spending thank the time you. with us on Indeed, a big day for HBCU Nation, a.k.a. Nation. And here is the review of the colors. Mm -hmm.